Hello everyone and welcome back to the Happy Go Lucky Scamps channel on YouTube. My name is Mike and today we're playing a game that was requested a little while ago by you guys. Yes, that's right guys, this is the Stanley Parable. Um, now, the Stanley Parable has been around for a long time. I know this, you know this, we all know this. I have not played the Stanley Parable yet because as usual, I am the last person in the world to get my hands on any gaming title uh, and this is one of them. Uh, I actually picked this up ages ago and then forgot to play it because, you know, what a massive loser. Um, so now I'm going to play it and I figured if I'm going to play it for the first time then I might as well play it with you guys. Now, as a kind of, I don't know, precursor to this video, I have watched some gameplay of the Stanley Parable. I have watched some of the endings to, to the Stanley Parable. However, I know that this game is so huge that actually I haven't seen all of the endings. So I'm hoping today to find one of the endings that I haven't seen before. I'm hoping to be able to show you guys what this game is like because I think this is amazing. We um, actually played one of these games on the live stream. We played, uh, we played uh, Dr. Langskov um, on the live stream at Christmas time and that is made by the same guy who did the art for this and it was incredible. I think the Stanley Parable is going to be great. I know that this guy is quite highly accredited because of this title so let's dive in. All right, enough rambling. Here we go. Begin the game. And of course, the epic loading screen. The end is never the end is never the end is loading. Yep. Just waiting for it to load here. Just waiting for it to load. Just waiting for it to load here. Just a little bit. Please, game, could you load? That'd be lovely. Game, are you loading? I know that we're still recording. Please? Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, it's recording. <laughs> well, it's loading now. Thank God. Hooray. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Oh. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. That sounds like employee me. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. That's exactly what I did. to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. Amazing. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. Ooh. And Stanley was happy. Yay! Good job, Stanley. I like you. And then one day, something what? very peculiar happened. Oh no. Something that would forever change Stanley. Oh no. Something he would never quite forget. Oh no. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. <gasps> no one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This My complete God. isolation. Something oh. was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. Oh. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Okay, are we, are we in? Yes. I think we're in. Okay, here we are. So guys, welcome to the Stanley Parable. Uh, I love the narration. I think it's excellent. If for those of you who don't know, this is a very narration heavy game. So I, oh God, we kind of glide around the room. Why do we fly around the room? I'm not even, it's like I'm not even walking. It's like I'm ice skating everywhere. Um. But yeah, this is a narration heavy game, so there's, I'm going to try and keep this minimal editing. I'm just going to let it play through, which means that you'll get me rambling on and on and on for endless periods of time. Right, here we go, let's leave. So what's up? Hello? Hello? People? All of his co-workers were gone. Huh? What could it mean? Oh, the Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. But perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Uh, oh, uh, okay. What is this? No What's matter going? how hard Stanley What's looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. That's, yes, that's exactly what I'm doing. Oh, the monitor. Why is, someone's left and, they've left this computer on. I can't, oh. Oh, what? Did I do that? Can I, can I influence things? I clicked and I think it went off. Oh my god, what does this, what does this mug say? I like work. 
I just hate my boss. Ah ha ha ha! Ah ha! It's witty. Ah ha ha! Uh, right. Okay. Let's uh, let's go find this meeting room then. So, what is up? Where is everyone? This is really freaky, actually. Oh, boop. Another computer. Another day saved thanks to the ecological abilities of me, Mike. From that. <gasps> no, there's a computer Stanley on in went here. Went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. Nor did it advance the story in any way. Ah, oh. oh, so there's a secret here. There's a secret to be found by touching things. I'm gonna touch all the things. Touch it. Touch it. Touch. Oh, touch it. Touch. Touch it. Touch. 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 No. No. Okay. That. No. It doesn't seem to be. But it might do. I'm. I'm not convinced. What's through here? Hello. Touch all the things. All the. Oh no. Oh no, someone- Oh! Oh, we could crouch! <laughs> wow, we could crouch really low. Um, someone spilt the coffee. Oh no. Oh. Beautiful. It's art! Amazing! Alright, touchy touch. Touchy touch. Oh. I didn't mean to- Interesting, we can do that too. Hello? Meeting room? Is this a meeting room? Where do we meet? Hello? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he uh. entered the door on his left. Okay, so this is where this game really comes into its own, because this game is a game of choice. Now, the narrator will give you the suggestion for what you're meant to do. In this case, he said go to the door on the left. But you can choose to defy the narrator by going to the door on the right. So, what do we do, guys? Do we go left? Do we go right? Ooh, ooh, ooh. We've got a bait and switch. We're going left and right. Oh, this was not the correct way so to good. the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. <laughs> Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted to do. I also want to turn off all of these computers. There's a real thing inside me that's kind of... It's kind of telling me that I need to turn stuff off, because I know, and you know, that leaving things on is bad for the environment. Yeah, but, uh, ah, yes. they don't seem to in this Surely office. Room worth oh, no. admiring. Mm. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to Surely. spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Truly, Stanley I love simply it. stood here, drinking it all in. Ah, yes. Drinking in the break room, with its cold drinks dispenser, where you can get cold drinks for $1.25. Yes. Really, oh. really worth it being here in the room. Yes. A room so utterly captivating that even though Coffee. all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some mm. paintings. Mm. Really worth it. Definitely. I I enjoy this, actually. Although everyone has disappeared, I, I think it's good to take stock at of the point, little things in Stanley's life. Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creeping <laughs> and reflected poorly on his overall personality. It's possible that this is why everyone left. Oh, that's not very nice. Oh, come on. It's just, I was just admiring this tiny coffee machine. Have you seen this? Have you seen how small this Stanley coffee sat machine around is? waiting for more dialogue. But when a long uh, time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. <laughs> and, <laughs> and this is what I love about this game. It's it's so witty. It's so clever. Um oh my god. <laughs> I like this clock actually. I should get a clock like this. I don't actually own a clock in my room or in my office or anywhere, actually. It's quite, it's quite disturbing, the lack of clocks that I have around. And yes, I am saying clock, people. Clock. Clock. I'm not saying anything else other than clock. Right. Okay. I think we have admired this room enough. I think it's time to progress. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing Yeah, room. there we go. He took the first open door on his left to get back to business. Yeah, the first open door on my left. Oh, but... 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 but the, there's things. Hello? Oh, what's in here? What is this? What have, what have we found? What is this? Stanley was so bad at following directions, <laughs> it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Oh, that, oh, that's not nice. Oh, that's so harsh. I just I just wanted to look. Look at all this exciting stuff. Can I go back? No. Do not lie. If you are lying right now, stop. <laughs> uh, well, I'm sorry, but I, I'm not currently lying. I'm just admiring this massive room. Wow. What the hell is this? Warning. Do not jump from the cargo lift while it's in motion. Will cause death. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift, $1,000. Penalty for jumping off the cargo lift, $5,000. So, you die and then you get levied with a $5,000 um, 
fine that you have to pay off during undeath. I'm gonna go on the cargo Look, lift. I am. I Ooh, shall I? On the wrong foot here. Shall I? I'm not shall I try? Me, really, I'm not. Shall I try? I realize that investing your trust in oh. someone else can there be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Oh. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Uh. Please. Stop trying to make every decision by yourself. But, now, but... I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. Her? I have a love interest? A what? What is this, this generator? Is your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. Okay. To let her back into your life. Who's her? She's been waiting. Has she? Is she... Is she this generator? Because I do love this generator. Or maybe it's the coffee machine from the break room. Oh, guys. Oh, if it's the coffee machine from the break room, we are quids in. There's one damn good coffee machine. Coffee machine, I'm coming for you. I want to be with you, coffee machine. Oh. Oh, shit. Hello. That's her, Stanley. <gasps> you need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. Okay. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Okay, I think I can do this. Coffee machine, hello. Are you there? Is it you? Hello? Is it, is it me you're, what? Uh, looking for? Where am I? Oh, Stanley, is that you? Huh? Uh, hold on, sweetie, sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread what? out of the oven. Oh. All right. Okay, there we go. Coffee machine. All right now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. Oh, oh, God, that is creepy. Gotcha. You oh, son of a... On. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Well... They want to commit their life to you. Somewhat. I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. This creepy-ass mannequin. Let me show you what's really going on here. I don't... With the creepy mannequin, I don't really want to. I'm kind of concerned... Sorry, oh, fuck me! Really oh, my no. God! Jesus! <laughs> Oh my god, that scared the bejesus out of me. Okay, all right, creepy mannequin. I'm fucking watching you. This is a very son sad of a story bitch. about the death of a man named Stanley. Huh? What? Press press two on your keyboard. Okay. Stanley is quite there a boring go. fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him. Uh, Every button that he pushes yeah. is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Oh. What? Press nine. Nine. I pressed nine. Look Another nine. There, okay. Buttons, oh, doing exactly this changed. You to see that? Now this changed. Pushing a button. Creepy now, ass mannequin. He's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. That sounds One exactly like what I do right him, now. Except that he's chosen day. this life. Uh, press three. Three. But in his mind, what did that do? Ah, in his mind, he can go on fantastic what, adventures. What did he do? From behind his desk, Did it change? Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was mm. wonderful. And each day Fucking that he returned you. to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Yeah. Well. Oh, press six to watch TV at six. And so he began oh. to fantasize about his own job. What? But, First, he imagined but, that one day while at I like work, the clock. he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his yeah. boss, everyone in the building yeah. had suddenly vanished <gasps> off the face of the earth. Oh, yeah. The thought excited him terribly. I, yes, I, that's uh, actually what happened. Oh, let's spend time with the boys. Yeah. Come on, boys. So, he lad, what? Oh. He imagined that he came to two open Hello? doors and that he could go through either. But at last, huh? choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. Duh. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. I still dislike you. You look a lot like Agent 47, if Agent 47 was female. I'm going to prepare dinner and then we can discuss this further. As he wandered oh. through this fantasy world, that is... he began to fill huh? it with many possible but... paths and destinations. But it... Down Dinner? one path lay an enormous round room with oh. monitors and mind controls. What? And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. Mind and controls. Down another was a game with a baby. Baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. Oh, uh, what? Oh, it's very meta. Oh, I don't understand. 
Press 8 to tell the kid your story. It was such a wonderful fantasy. Okay. And so in his head, he relived it oh, again, and then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end. I don't... That he might always feel this free. I'm still Surely stuck. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Lamp. Perhaps if he played just one more time. Lamp. T to tell your wife you... You're not my wife, but, you know, we can get... Oh, no oh, this is much better. Be? Oh, In I reality, like that that's become a desk. Pushing the same buttons he always has. Yeah. Nothing has changed. Well... The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. What? This... Uh, I uh, press 8 to go to sleep. And I'm trying to tell him this. Duh. In this world, he can never be anything what? but an observer. But that as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. Can, but he won't listen to me. Can we? He won't stop. What? Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Okay. Press T to be at work in the morning. Aha! I'm going to go with the narrator this time now that creepy mannequin lady has disappeared. I feel much safer in this room. I like this so much. Oh, it's so nice. Now the creepy mannequin is gone, I don't mind. Oh, it's so great. Oh, I like the art. Oh, I like the window. But I love this clock. Oh. That's clock, by the way. I said clock again, guys. Clock. Not not anything else. Clock, okay? All right. I'm just going to wait this out. Uh, we've got a room, and I'm happy with it. I've got my favorite mug, uh, which describes my appreciation or disappreciation for Mondays. And I am happy. I'm content. I do kind of want to leave, but at the same time, I'm happy that the mannequin has gone, and I'm very happy to stay in this room with its amazing tiled ceiling. Um, what do I do, though? Maybe I should just press T. Should I? Should I wait a bit longer? I'm concerned. How long have I waited? Some time? An amount of time. What am I doing in here? What is life? Ah, oh, T. You see? Oh. Can he just not hear me? Uh, How can I tell him in a way that he'll what? understand that every second he remains here, but he's electing to kill himself? Oh, really? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Uh, with a mirror. Press P to question nothing. No, I want, I would like, like to leave. I would like a mirror of some description. P. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. Phone? But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose. Ah. The same as Stanley. What? We're not so different, I suppose. Oh. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Right. Perhaps. Well, maybe this time he'll see. Hmm. Maybe this time. Um. And I tried again. Excuse me? And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. Please what? And Please I die. Oh. Oh, what? But am I... Am I dead? The game's loading. It's hard to tell what happened there. Did I die? Huh? What? But I'm back. I'm alive. What has happened? Where am I? I'm back in the office. All of his co-workers and gone. all of the co-workers have got the monitor is on. Stand oh my god! To go to the meeting room. I somehow managed to complete the game, but in a very convoluted way. This time, I feel compelled to go with the narrator. Turn this monitor off. Can't stand the ecological non-completeness. Awaiting input. Oh, can I? Boop. Uh. Okay. That's cool. So I've, I've input something. What is this? What do I do? Why? Why is this on? Can I just clicking? What else? How can I? How do I input? I'm, is this inputting things? To sharpener. Sharpener. Input. Input the sharpener into CD drive. Make sure. Touch everything. Okay, I've got it. Oh, this guy looks like a secret. I've got to explore. I've got to discover what. No matter how hard Stanley the looked, secret is. he couldn't find a trace. Stanley went around monster? touching every little thing in the office. Yes, I did. It didn't make a single difference. Quite like Nor it. Nor did it advance Wait, the story. Wait, is there a computer way? here before? Or is this person just a pencil sharpener? That that's incredible. Them not them themselves being a pencil sharpener. But actually, they sharpen pencils for a job. I know that that was unclear. I can only apologize. Input received. Am I... 
Ah, oh, that's a secret, but I don't, I don't really know. Comment section below if you know what to do there. Um, and we can always come back and revisit this if you like in a, another episode. When Stanley and here we came are. To a set of the big decision. Doors, he entered the door on his left. I am prepared to take the door on the left. We're going to go with the narrator this time. I'm going to trust him ever so slightly more than I did before. As long as he can promise me that me and my coffee machine will be reunited. Yet there was not oh. a single person here either. Here we are. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Amazing. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, ah. hoping he might it's find one of my an presentations. answer there. What is hot? This. Target demographic teenagers. Um, I think this is actually the secret business plans of the Stanley Parable. Using slides to assure employees that everything is okay. Make sure your slide has slick blue graphic in the header, and throw some bevel on that text. Ah, yes. Everyone is unique. You most of all. And especially you, yellow box. We all like you the best. I got you. Right, okay. Oh. Oh. Hello. Stanley stepped into the broom closet. What is this? But there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Okay. I believe you, narrator. I believe that there's nothing in there. I'm just going to leave it and walk away. And all the gamers in the chat suddenly light up with, Stanley Oh my god, what have you done? To his boss's office. Uh, okay. Uh. No, let's have a look this way. What's down here? Hello? Have I gone? Is this it? Hello? Red light? Red light? This doesn't look right. This looks like the car park. But Stanley just couldn't do it. Uh, no. He considered the possibility of facing his boss. Yeah. Admitting he had left his post during work hours. Hello? He might be fired for that. That's true. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? That's true. All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. It's true. And then something occurred to Stanley. It did. Maybe. He thought to himself, maybe. maybe I am crazy. Maybe I'm crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began mm. to make other strange observations. Yes. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? <gasps> Why oh God! Doors close automatically behind him wherever he went. This is true. And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply One, repeating? One, two, B4. No, Stanley said to himself, "This ah. is all too strange. This can't be real." Something we should and remember. At last, he came to the conclusion hmm. that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming. Ah. Uh, this is all dream. Yes. Oh, what a relief, Stanley oh felt. To have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. Uh, he wasn't crazy after all. What? And he thought to himself, okay. I suppose I'll wake up soon. Uh, but I'll have to go back to my boring real life what? job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm go. still lucid. What? So he imagined but himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Oh god, I've got a uh, lift he off. imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. What? Uh, it was so much fun. Oh and wow. Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. This is quite beautiful, How was actually. he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. Yeah. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Hmm. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Yes. Now the voice was describing itself da, da, da. being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. That's very matter. I'm dreaming about a voice uh. describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts. No. Thought. Duh. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, mm. this was not a dream. Nah. How could it be? Uh -huh. Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? What? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Yes. Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. That's true. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. It's quite nice, actually, After this all, running around. He knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was, in fact, a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? Yeah. How else would the voice explain all that? I don't this know. This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... Yes. He would prove it. Okay. He would prove that he was in control. All right. That this was a dream. Okay. 
I got this. So he closed his eyes gently. My eyes, yep. And he invited himself to wake up. Oh. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back. Uh huh. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. Oh, please, no more I'm scary mannequins. This dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please. It's all I want. It's all I want, I too. I want my apartment and my wife. Yep. And my job. All of that. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. And the coffee machine. My Please. life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. Can I please have the coffee machine back? I am okay. I would like the coffee machine. Hello? Oh. Well, this is awkward. Stanley began screaming. Please, oh, shit. someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, Duh. just someone tell me I am real. It's going red. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone Shit's hear my happening. voice? Who am I? Who what am the I? fuck is going on? And oh. everything went black. What? Uh, but... Really? Oh, God. I'm this concerned. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Excuse me? Mariella? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. What the hell? But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself. Oh, then what? collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Oh, God. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. What? This is she crazy. obviously crazy. This much she knew. But everyone knows what crazy people look like. Stanley. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. Wait, what? I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. What do crazy people look like? It was comforting to think this. And in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. Good. But oh, then she no, wait. the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The meeting? The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career. And by extension, the rest of her life. Oh, okay. She had no time for this. What? So it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. A what? But the ambulance! But, uh, don't, don't just leave me on the sidewalk, I'm Stanley! I have a wife! I have a job! I have a coffee machine! Oh. Oh, okay. Hello? This is... Oh, this is slightly different All than it was before. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? What? Stanley decided to this go to new? the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. But... But this isn't the same as it was before. This is... This is different. Oh. What? Welcome to the whiteboard ending! Console bark. Maybe is that something I have to do? Uh, what? I I don't really understand. Stanley went around touching every little thing uh, in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. I'm touching Nor the things. Did it advance the story in any way? I don't know what I'm doing. I discovered the whiteboard ending. I don't know what it means. Shall I close the door? Close. Yeah. Do I run into the whiteboard? Uh, I don't know what to do. Uh, I'm just gonna leave that. I don't know. It's it's kind of scary now. It's kind of freaky. When Stanley but we're came here. to a set of two open doors, okay. he entered the door on his left. Okay then. What could be through here? Please don't be anything bad. We've already been through the bad. Yet and the meeting there was room. Not a single person here either. I don't like this. Oh, of pictures. Stanley Were they there before? To go up to his boss's office, help! I'm a post it. Might find an answer there. Okay, I can't help you post it. I'm sorry. I'm on a quest. I need to find that coffee machine. Maybe it's Coming in the boss's staircase, office. Stanley okay. Walked upstairs to okay. His boss's office. Okay, narrator. Fine. Fine. You win. I'm going upstairs. Oh, this is lovely. Oh, I don't know why I didn't do this before. Uh, the door didn't close behind me. Executive bathroom. <gasps> the gold tier of all bathrooms. And I can't... I can't... I can't access it. That's... Oh, that sucks. I want to go in the executive bathroom. Hello, secretary. I would like to book an appointment with the boss, please. What do you mean his door is open, but he's not in? Ta 
tell him that it's important. I've got, I've got business. Please, please. Okay, look, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean to get annoyed, uh, Secretary. I'm very sorry. I, I will. I'll tell you what. I will leave a memo on his desk. This is not the right way. Sorry, I, I didn't meant to go this way. Hello. Stepping into his manager's office, yep. Stanley was once again stunned oh. to discover not an indication of any human cool. life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. Mm. What Fine. dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk huh? guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. Ooh. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Okay. Two, eight, four, five. Amazing. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Nope, nope. I haven't a clue what to do. I'm just going to sit here and play some piano. Uh... Plink, 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 plonk. No, can we not play the piano, please? Oh, no, we can't. We can't play the piano. That kind of sucks. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Oh, well. Trying to input anything on the device was useless. That's since true. he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. Because I am Stanley, I'm in full role playing mode. One, two, three, four. Nope, that's not it. Two, okay. eight, four, five. Oh, it's in red now. Okay. Uh, two. Five, eight, zero. Stanley simply nope. began entering random codes into yep. the keypad. That's pretty much it. Well, the sheer statistical unlikelihood uh, that this would ever result in a correct forgot. But it turns out that what? the panel's <laughs> emergency override kicked in. Oh, what? And the door just opened all by itself. Oh. And Stanley got the hell along with the story. <laughs> oh, whoop de do. <laughs> wow, it really wants me to go in this room. All right, okay, I'm going in. The emergency shutters are down. This floodlight is here. It's just like in Fallout 4. It's connected to one of my favorite generators. Oh, everything is good. I am happy. I'm content with my life decisions. What is this dark corner over here? Hello, dark corner. No, there is nothing. Oh, <gasps> big shiny button. Oh my god, I love shiny buttons. Oh wait. Oh wait, what? Oh no. No. Oh, oh no. Oh no. This is... Uh, this is bad. It's come up with a loading screen that can only mean something is going to go horribly wrong. Descending deeper into okay. the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. I do. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest. Yeah. As though he felt more free to think for himself, huh? to question the nature of his job. Yeah, yeah. where am I going? feel this now? When for years it had never occurred to him. Tell me. This question would not go unanswered for long. Would it not? I just want to know where I am. Oh shit. Oh, it's dark now. Oh, I don't like the dark. That's where evil things lurk. Evil things are in the dark, and I don't Stanley like that. Walk straight oh. ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. It does escape. Uh well. Fuck it. This is too tempting. I'm off. Escape. See you later, suckers. Mind control facility. Although Kiss my ass. Although this passageway the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, yep. Stanley would meet his violent death. Oh. Ah, fuck it. Right, we're off. Da 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 Violent death is waiting for me. behind him was not shut. No. Nope. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. No, I don't believe it. I, I played Portal. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted yep. effort to yep. walk forward. Yep. And willingly confront his death. Yes, that's what we're doing. This is amazing. I am happy with this decision. Down we go. And we're off. Down into the tube of hope, possibly followed by death, but still hopefulness. I like this tube. I trust the tube. We're off. Hello. I'm alive. Somehow. Oh god. What the hell? As the machine whirred into motion, and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise. Oh. He reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Oh god. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. What the hell? He doesn't know the real story. Oh, but trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. I don't Perhaps like his this. Death was of no great loss, like uh, plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. But this, so he um, resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. What does this machine even do? Stanley. What purpose does this machine actually hold? Oh God. Uh. 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 
hello. Farewell, Stanley, cried huh? the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. Coffee machine! In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Uh, oh. Is that you, coffee machine? Coffee machine, are you helping me? What the hell? I thought I was dead. I'm not dead. And in a time warp, the Stanley Parable. And yet it would be just ah. a few minutes before Stanley would restart okay. the game back in what? his office as alive as ever. Uh. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Oh. Oh, this looks amazing. I'm well up for this door. Yeah. Every path you can yeah. walk has been created oh. for you long in advance. Death becomes meaningless. Does it? Making life the same. Oh. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley uh. was already dead from the moment he hit start? Huh. Really? Really? Is this... This is like a... What? This is office blueprint? This is like a, a museum of my life as a Stanley. This is the corridor. This is the decision. Holy shit. Two doors. The two doors. The very first concrete piece of Stanley Parable's design. Once this room was created, the rest of the game emerges as an extension of it, an exploration of the contradiction this room posed. Holy shit! So this is actually like a, uh... This is actually like a backstage pass. Oh shit, do you hear that? Is there... Is that a thing? The office. Or two? Or three? Oh, okay. Button sounds. Boop. 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 Oh, I quite like three. Oh, I like... Yeah, I quite like number three. Three? That's really cool. I like button three. Ah, oh, The sound is a mix of a keyboard stroke and a synthesized tone. Awesome! Oh, credits! Oh, right, okay. So these are the, these are the credits for the, for the people who made this game. Oh, that's awesome. Well, these guys deserve all the credit they can get. So have a good long look at these guys. They have done an awesome job. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know... What this is? This is the office. This is the maintenance room. Ah, oh, that makes me very happy. This is a uh, machine. It's some sort of printer behind a thing. This is art. Oh, wow. This is awesome. Am I going crazy? Maybe this isn't all in image. More endings. Fewer endings. More narrators. Fewer narrators. More Stanley. Less Stanley. Oh, God. I don't really know what, I, what I'm... Going to be able to achieve through doing this. What the hell? What is this? Narrator emails after the second trailer we sent out. We asked people to email the narrator for questions. Uh, Dear Strong Bad, how do you type with boxing gloves on? From Ben. Dear narrator, will the Stanley Parable have infinite quests? How many endings if the Stanley Parable is really going to let me go shopping? I hope it will have a fine sl Oh, shit. Well, wow, congratulation, congratulation, congratulation. Uh, in line with our previous announcement regarding the ongoing promotion, here is the result in the full attachment. Uh, I can't read all of this. It's got Salvador Dali in it. Oh, God. Okay, right, I think we should continue. What's through here? This is more of the office. That is the stapler. These are images of the cargo lift, which I faced. And also, the cargo lift from another place. Yeah, that's amazing. Jesus, there's so much of this to explore. This is what I mean about this game. There is there is so much that you can do. And there's so much, like, opportunity. It's... a oh, vent. Oh, I didn't see the vent. Oh my god, if if we come back and play this game again, I'm, I'm conscious at the time, that if we come back and play this game again, we definitely have to take on the vent. But you guys have to let me know. Uh, I like these. Zending levers. They're very nice. If you guys want to see this again, then please do let me know and we can go through more endings. I mean, I'm more than happy to turn this into something awesome. What is Zending? Screenshot depicts an early version of the ending known as the Zending, which was eventually cut and merged with another part of the game. Oh, amazing. Oh wow, I didn't know this had a Zending. The game is now paused. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Oh, what? Huh? The countdown desk? What? The what? One, one of the desks from the early version of the countdown ending. Oh god, we haven't seen the countdown ending. Oh god, there's a lift. Ah, oh, there's so much stuff. Exit. Right, we're out. 
Oh, what? Oh, look at these two. Huh? How they wish to destroy one another. What is this? How they wish to control one another. But I... How they both wish to be free. I do. Uh... Bye-bye. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. Huh? What? What do you mean? Listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Oh, what? Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. Is there? As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Really? Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Okay, all right, fine. Uh, quit some aim in you. <laughs> Did I do it? Did I win? I think I did. I think I beat the game. <laughs> it's hard to tell. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you very much for joining me in this, on this odyssey through the Stanley Parable. Um, we have only seen a tiny, tiny, tiny fraction of this game. Um, but if you want to check it out, of course, we will leave the link below to where you can pick up this game. And uh, yeah. I look forward to hearing what you think. Um, and also, thank you very much for the recommendation for one uh, there, one of our. <laughs> I've totally lost my words. One of uh, one of our great subscribers has uh, su well suggested this to me a while ago. Thank you very much for suggesting it to me. I hope you've enjoyed the video. And uh, yeah, well, I guess we're gonna end it here because we are wow. 41 minutes worth of recording. Jeez Louise. All right, then, guys. Well, thank you very much for watching. I, of course, have been Mike of the Happy Go Lucky Scamps. Of course, if you like this video, then please hit the like button below because it very much helps me and lets me know that I'm on the right track. And if you are a first time viewer and this is the first thing you've seen of us, hit subscribe and you can get some awesome stuff just like this. And in the meantime, guys, I will see you in the next one. So, take care, then, guys. Bye bye.